BLG, he brings out the Bard in game three of the Summer Finals. On is here to play. Yeah, you know, we're in our fancy video game here. We're done with Wizards, we're done with Paladins, we're done with Warlocks. Let's have a Bard instead, a bit of music <laughs> to have some fanfare here. The idea here from BLG, big stacked wave, level four, enough mana for a Pathmaker at most. No level six, barely any mana. Can they find it? Waits for the W before Way goes in. TP committed, but they commit for the kill anyway. First Blood has been tanks the tower. Oh, Shahu is just as low. There's still a cannon underneath the tower. They're waiting for Gordowns. They're clearing this wave. And it's still some farm away from Breathe. Not get some time alone in mid lane as well. Then we said it's a harder lane matchup into that core key, but he's done very well. Uh, on might have overstepped on this one. I know you're barred. But I mean, it's, it's like being banned from up above with this one because he really is bad. Okay. <laughs> Shaohu really punishing that positioning. It's all build up for the grubs because remember Tarzan on this brand, such a good grub taker as Elk. We're going to eat a very meaty trade. Oh, nice Q from Light. Is this Ooh, a chance arrows. for revenge? The arrows fly in, the piercing arrow flashed away from, tries to avenge himself from the previous series. Yeah, grubs now here being taken. Wait. I mean, Q Smite, you can steal away at the very least one here. Tarzan gets one. Wei lurking for the second. Pillar of Flame denied. Wei has the Smite. Oh, no, he doesn't have Smite. It's on cooldown for him. Yeah. Still gets two. Chris walks away. Xiaohu on the scene as well. But the magical journey. <laughs> okay. Chris gets baited, but On's just going to get chased down. On twice now. He's got out of position on this bard. Crisp is having such a good game on the Alistair too. Elkanon, that has been the strong point this series and this game and in the previous game. That's not been the case. Elk's been left out to dry and Bin has been the carry. Roots come on through. Pathmaker used to try and tank up, but wait. Twisted advance keeps him safe. Bin doesn't even tank the tower. Yeah, a little bit awkward though. It does mean that way has to flash, but still, I mean, they get what they came for and Reeve dies. It's not like you're giving two over early. There is no reason for BLG to over play their hands just yet. And one thing which I'll really praise BLG for is the fact that they have actually been quite reserved. They are a very aggressive team, but they're not necessarily a team that will over push things. Yeah. But now as a uh, chunk up low, Light's gonna try and finish the job. Piercing arrow does it! The roots come out just in time to keep the BLG bot lane alive. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I don't quite know why like, we're suddenly from Birmingham. Look, yeah, but. Like, I'm not quite like the Midlands from you lot. True, true. I'm a southerner. Oh, you're a Yorkshire boy, Ed. We've got all three. Yeah, we've got North, we've got Midlands, we've got, 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 got South. South. Yeah. For people who have no connections to England, <laughs> this means <laughs> absolutely nothing to yeah. you. <laughs> but uh, importantly, Tower taken at the top side. Crisp trying to contend Any for fight at level 10. I'll be very happy with that. On would just really love level six though. Like, go towards the mid lane wave, drop a grub. Oh, root onto on. Light finds the arrow on. Down again. Chris gets a knockback, but it's on to light. Bin gets the perfect targets for the croc. Curtain call. Can't finish the job though. Croc down. Weibo surviving. They can't quite go for the grubs though. Yeah, too low for the grubs at the very least. But BLG maybe on the way back out can look for one more. Struggling on the rift. And on a similar story where he didn't necessarily have the greatest split for himself compared to what we expect. The tanky champion goes down very, very easily. Chris immediately gets bin away from Xiaohu, who could have been stunned in front of the other BLG teammates. Chris pops the ult. We've got to fight oh. in the pit now. Chris blow. Fourth shot wasn't there. It was the third. Xiaohu goes in. Knight can't quite find the slope. Breathe behind enemy lines, perhaps has a chance. Pathmaker, no! Knight flashes into it and is pulled straight into the open arms of Weibo. What a fumble from the all-star mid laner. And now the chase is on. No, Bramble smash oh. sets Crisp away. Way gets that lock it and keeps his team alive. Awkward flash from Knight means that that Pathmaker does connect in the end and he loses his life now of Herald up. Bin on the wrong side of the map with not a lot of backup in the immediate future. Breathe could also accidentally sniff him out. No. Oh, he's got ult. They're going to go for another yeah. fight. Here we go. They're going for it. Oh, Elk shot. is here with the fourth shot. Well. Tarzan rooted up, stunned up, and executed. Bin now trying to escape on the top side. In fact, looking for a re-engage. On has gone straight into the mix once more, and he's just going to go down once more. On has fallen apart in game three, and Weibo happy to capitalize. I put my hand up like I'm in school to get everyone's yeah, attention. Yeah. You guys are going to see it. Yeah, first dragon now is finally going to go down, so there's not even going to be a soul in the immediate future either. Uh, Knight's going to eat pretty heavy trade. Now, who looking for revenge for game number one? Won't quite finish the job, oh, but Chris done. by here comes the cavalry, and the knight will be taken 
down. The burn finishes the job as Tarzan cashes in. BLG, look to the bottom side. I don't think they'll find anything. Yeah, I love how Knight's like, well, jigs up. Let's get as many stacks as I can. Throw the ult to them. I'm sure I'll don't need that for the next minute or so. This is really big, though, again, for Wayweb. Got themselves a nice amount of grubs earlier. They managed to get themselves that Herald ult over the wall. Light cleanses. Cleanse from light, but follow-up route after follow-up route. And a curtain call. Set up for the oh. first shot, but no, Chris arrives in the nick of time. Light still falls way out of the top side, but here comes Tarzan to punish the escape. The burn is there. He's looking for one more hit and finishes it. On now being chased. Will not be able to close the gap. In the meantime, Shahu's got a tip too. Great for Shahu, 700 gold, but I really have to, you know, Praise Christmas play there. We'll keep talking about this in relation to that, Harold. There's uh -oh. no side uh -oh. lane wins for BLG. Shahu teleports in. Elk doesn't have flash available, and Shahu's there to punish for the magical journey. Oh. And the block on the rocket on, finally. For Weibo, this is huge compared to the rest of the series. And this is a team with a 90% record of closing the game out when they're ahead. And that's a great little pick onto on again. He has fallen apart. He's earning his old nickname again. Yeah, with this is this is an off game, folks. It is uh, not necessarily been his best showing in game three after such a stunning first two games from BLG. We were talking about potentially things being the quickest best of five in history. It's a great start to the game. They've got to finish the job though. And that's the problem against a team like BLG. You make one big enough mistake and they can take the entire game away from you. Chris goes for another combo, stops oh, them out of the journey. God, on. Actually, he still gets through the journey. <laughs> he somehow survives. Oh, but Elk in the meantime, he tries to save his support and he'll regret that decision. Way trying to escape the phase rush, smiting a Q and a flash as well. Proactive plays and then just react off them and see what you can actually take or deny it in those sequences. Yeah, if they lose this mid lane out, it's all right. It makes things quite hard though. That's going to be an ult. Trying to catch out light teleport yep. coming through. Oh, takes a tower shot as well. Oh, Elk wow. goes in for the fourth shot. Nearly answers with his own live curtain call comes in. But Bin is rooted, gets onto the byline and sets up for shot number four. He slides it out, but he cannot dice further. On flashes the damage as Knight arrives on the scene. He's Ooh. got that passive. Flash comes out, here's Breed on a flank. That tower is not long for the world, and BLG know it. They back away, they avoid the flank, but they lose their tier one. I love this play from both sides. Weibo just want that tier one down, but they can still walk away happy from this, knowing that it's not a game-losing play. But I just love that move, just all right. Yeah, you know, sometimes inactivity can be really positive for these hits. No, we're teleporting midline and fighting again. to react to what Weibo are doing. I just look very oh, scared. Speaking oh, of, Shaohu found kill for Knight. Great setup from Wei. And suddenly this smolder might just be online. That's really a power in the side lane. And as we were saying, despite the lead for Weibo, BLG are very, very punishing. You make mistakes like this, BLG yeah. take more than you think. And you know, we said Weibo are good at closing out games. BLG are better, you know? Yeah, you once Weibo catches that wave, wave of high, oh, hold on. Nice dead, the burn, the burn. Okay, Comet finishes the job, Tarzan. Grabs a kill while we're in the replay. We'll I'm have to see. I mean, honestly, it's just ironic to me that it feels like Weibo need a knight in shining armor to slay the dragon. Knight is the dragon. It's the wrong way round, guys. <laughs> Where's St. George when you need him? Weibo want to know. We can, we can ask uh, Light if he has a death note. Uh, I, hear, I, hear he, I hear he's got one of them uh, walking around. It's directly the Q hole on top of it. Uh -oh. Wait, he's got... Okay, well. the root in the queue to try and get phase rush. The movement speed is there, but so is the burn. He's gone. Trees don't like fire. I think we all knew that one. And Knight now trying to get some poke over the wall. As on moves it. Weibo start the Baron, and BLG must answer. The curtain call flies through. Shahu sent away. The root lands as Bin looks for a follow up. This is 4v5. Chris is in the back line as Bin goes in. Chris has bought space. He's bought time for the croc to be eradicated. He may answer with his own life, but perhaps answers with the play of the game. He saves Weibo as Knight barely lives and Shaohu finds his man. The composition is just so threatening and so frustrating. And then it's about the access that Bin gets on the side here. And just the amount of space him and then Chris also by from preventing BLG from moving forward. This was almost look, if this oh, happens with if, if this happens so Oh go back to the virus has gone Whoa. down! The Baron is gone! Mum called, but is it enough? Chris keeping everyone away has been dived into the fight line and light is left! He's still alive though! Executed by Elk! And here comes the dragon! Knight looking to finish, but he's burnt to Sunder! 
Tars and surviving as Elk has to carry. Can the Jin oh. do the damage? The deadly oh. flourish. There's four. Jin's favorite number, but he wants a fifth. The Penta for Elk. That came out of nowhere. Struggle with the tanks. Elk does not give a damn. We are left thunderstruck. He uses the static shift to just run, run rampant across that team fight. Get that AOE damage. The dancing grenades, the extra. Everyone was protecting light from the curtain call. Once the curtain call was gone, they, they kind of <laughs> abandoned him, and suddenly the deadly flourish flies through. 6k damage as another fight is on our screen. Chris tanking on the front line. Here come the flames as Wade dives into the backside, but he's gone way too deep. There's no answer from PLG for now. The curtain call not doing enough. Knight has to carry as Bin is pulled under the tower and can't find an answer. Double for Xiaohu. Weibo are finding a way. The front line of BLG is not working well in this game. In all of these fights, they're somehow, given how long range champions they are with Rapid Fire Cannons, still out of range. Oh no, Chris Core Elk once again. These traps are just too much for Weibo. Yeah. Again, though, because we have got a Bloodthirst and Alpha Knight. We're on four and a half items for Elk. On has just face checked into three of Weibo. That Baron themselves. Smolder does have a good amount of DPS. Here comes the he teleport. It's a deep TP, but Crisp is caught on the front line in the meantime. Goes to the Unbreakable Will, but it's not enough. That's going to be two. Tarzan burned down as well. BLG from nowhere. Find it again. Breathe is on the back line, but what can one man do against such reckless dominance? BLG are here to make their mark on the LPL, and there's nothing Breathe can do about it. They've got half a wave in the mid lane here, and another wave rolling in. Gentlemen, I think this is the series. BLG are marching into the base. We had eras in the past in the LPL. We've had times of dominance from different teams as another kill comes through. EDG and RNG are gone. The era of JDG is over. Now begins the age of Billy Billy Gaming. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.